were having problems, they were missing triplets, they were getting stuck on notes, the rhythm was all over the place. And I, I, I talked to him this way of plucking and put together a couple exercises and that to, to train the right hand. And the playing the play improved. Um, and in competition terms, which is obviously not, not what it's about, but it was from being able to just about qualify out of a county flat to be able to get through to an All-Ireland and, and, and do well at that level. And that's the difference that it made. Um, well, this morning we spoke about relaxation, you know, setting up the body so that we're properly aligned with the band and all that. And that stuff was really, really important you know, how to hold it. After that, the next most important thing is, is that you're picking in a, in a regulated fashion. Uh, what happens with a lot of players is that they're just they're, they're picking, and it's 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 a, it's a little bit like they don't know what the right hand is doing. So they do one note on the down, the next note might be a down, or it might be not. And the next time they do it, it could be the opposite way around. They'll do a triplet one day, uh, down up down, and the next day they'll do it up up down. And so there's no regulation. Now recently I started to liken it to playing a bar on again. Now you can imagine if you're playing a reel on a bar on, and your most basic rhythm is down, 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 and you want to keep and you put in a long beat, okay? You naturally do a, the long beat on a down, leave the gap and do the next downbeat on a down. Now if you were to do what some managers do, which is to have an irregular pattern of picking, you'd be talking about playing the band, uh, playing a bar like, all over. <laughs> okay, now it makes totally logical sense on the bar, but it, it doesn't seem to make as much sense when you're, when you're plucking on a banjo. Of course, add in the melody and all the rest of it that's going on. So, what I'll do, and now this relates solely to real playing, so it's tunes that are in 4-4 time. Um, my theory on it is, is that if you can pick a real hornpipe, barn dance, fling, because they're, they're all in the same 4-4 signature, then a jig is an awful lot easier. A jig, you can do down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, or you can do down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and so on and so forth. There seems to be more room within a jig, and it doesn't trip you up as much. And if you can nail the reels, then the jig's very easy after that. So what I'll do is run through and I kind of just explain the basics of it. As I said, it's 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 so simple that you look at it and kind of go how could this possibly be a method? Uh, but then uh, we'll do a few exercises and then kind of see how trained your the, the right hand actually is. 